Hello everyone, this is me Lucifer Orion and today we are gonna see how to use Oracle database to create connection pool in Glassfish server. So let's start. So just go to the data source explorer in your Eclipse. If you are not able to see data source explorer then go to the window and click show view and you can create you can enable data source explorer once you go and enable data source explorer then you are able to see database connection just create a new connection over here new and we are just going to create oracle so give the suitable name according to the project so let me write here this one is uh, test oracle so just create the name and <coughs> it will create the driver uh, which we have to select oracle thin driver then uh, uh, i already have this uh, connection already so if you have you are new uh, then you have to set up the uh, driver setup in your uh, eclipse so just go here and click oracle thin driver and in the jar list uh, just remove this one and just add the jar uh, which is uh, necessary for our OGDBC connection so in this case I am using JDK 1.7 so OGDBC 14 jar is required for JDK 1.7 so here uh, uh, use your user ID when when you are install when you install uh, Oracle right then you have a user ID just use that user ID and password and database name is xc so that driver is already exit so let's go and write driver name is test oracle all right so this is our SID and uh, everything is connected here just just check it okay ping failed don't get panic because our host is local host we are not uh, we are not launching in in the server otherwise you have to give the appropriate path for the server then try it okay ping succeed that is how we created our database let's go and create finish click finish so okay here this oracle is here and then you can see like there are few tables in my uh, oracle database uh, this is my oracle database and i have already i already have a table called customers right so i'm just going to write a query in here then you will able to see is it actually working or not so just go and click type is our oracle uh, 11g which i am using for 11g you have uh, to install jdk 1.7 and database is xe so let me write the query select uh, a strict a strict from customer tables okay this table we we already have this table right so i am just going to execute this query and see what comes in our result mm, alt alpha 6 and then come on it's taking time so in the background you are listening nepalese song uh, that is cold song so look this is the result in our customer table we have three data one uh, two and three uh, which is displaying as a result so this w one part is finished but uh, if you want to create this connection pool in class server with this database which we have created just right now then you have to go to the admin console for glass piece just view admin console uh, thank God, it's going to populate here over here. So let's go to the uh, database part and then go to the database part. Let me do is loading. It's taking time. Enjoy the music in the background.
this really cool song and this is from movie so I can all right so copy this one and I'm just going to paste over here so the large view will be large uh, it's easy to see right so just taking time all right all right then what we have to do is we have to go to zbc right yes mm, just go to the zbc connection pools and create a new pool uh, uh, oracle pool so pool name will be test oracle or you can give any suitable name related to your project so resource type uh, sql driver and it will oracle just click next then it will automatically look it will automatically load the driver class name right so that is one uh, main thing uh, we have to see here so url and just give your username and password for the oracle so system is my username and my password is dot 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 so uh, url uh, let's copy url from here uh, let's go to the data source explorer and uh, we are using this one so go here and click the properties file and click this one all right so in url just i'm just pasting that one click finish and it's taking time so look which one is ours the, okay this one and just click this one and just ping it so before when you click ping what you have to do is uh, you have to go to the domain path of your oracle database uh, in my case i have my data uh, oracle database installed over here let me show you this one is my oracle database and there is glass piece over here there is domains and domain one and i have library and extension so here you have to you have to put your jar file which is required for your eclipse id to recognize uh, like all the packages uh, available right uh, all the packages will be included here which is used by the database so don't forget to put your jar file in library inside extension folder then click ping in your glass server let's see one two three four go all right so it's obviously being succeed so we are able to connect uh, database with class server then go to the jdbc resources and create the resources now new and i am just going to give my jndi name as jdbc slash and test oracle so in our java when you are trying to configure database uh, for assisting database with java code then you have to use this path into your persistence.xml file so click ok oh my goodness there is a mistake uh, but yeah the overall thing is the uh, idea is this one but uh, let me go and jdbc test oracle because i use pool name Dev derby but we are actually using this one right test oracle mm, we have connection pool as test oracle so use this one so save it and the new values value successfully saved go to the test oracle and again try to ping it yes and here we go guys we are able to look we are able to uh, let me go and see again ping succeed save ping all right okay so we are succeed right to able to connect our database part with class p server but uh, where you have to put your um, where you have to give that name is that uh, jdbc resource name 
let me show you the persistence uh, part persistent dot xml part mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i have here in xml file so here look jdbc the test which data source you are trying to connect you have to give the name over here so that's all guys thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe thank you guys